Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a dress using Adobe Photoshop. So let's open up this folder. Inside this folder, I've got this picture of this woman wearing this dress. We're going to change the color of the dress. So we're going to isolate that particular color and then use Photoshop to change the color of this particular dress. I'll put a link to this image in the YouTube description. So you can download this image or you can use a different one if you like. And uh, let's do this in Photoshop. Let's open up Photoshop CC. I'm going to take this image and just drag that into Photoshop. So the image is loaded up here and we want to isolate this red color. Uh, we don't really want to change the shoe color in this example. It's just the dress that we want to focus on. So let's go to select color range here. And in this toolbox options here, uh, we'll select sampled colors here. And we've got the, the, the eyedropper tool here. So we'll click the eyedropper tool and we'll click on the dress. So we can click anywhere really on this dress. And what we're clicking on is a specific red color and it will show up in the, the little dialog box here which of those red colors are in this image of what we're specifically selecting. We'll click on the plus tool here, the plus um, add to sample here, and we'll start clicking other versions of this red color. There's going to be different shades of red in here. They're not all going to be the same. There's going to be slightly different shades of red. So we'll just click all over here and try and get grab as many red colors as possible. But don't click white and don't click the arm and don't click black, like really dark shadows in here. Because that's going to spoil your selection. So this should be pretty good. This selection here should be quite good. You can always use the, the zoom tool. So if you want to zoom in, you can zoom into this image a little bit. Possibly, I don't think it will allow us to zoom using this. Uh, let's see. I won't allow us to do that, but this, this should be fine. So this becomes our selection or our layer mask. So let's click OK. And when we click OK, we can see the selection here. So it's not quite perfect. So what we'll do is go to uh, layer. We'll go to new adjustment layer and we'll select hue and saturation here. And we'll click OK. And then we have a layer mask here basically, right? So if I hold down the Alt key and click on it, you can see what's been selected from the dress. And we want to fill this all in white. So let's press Z, uh, the letter Z to zoom in. Let's just zoom in here a little bit. Uh, let's get it in a little bit closer. And then we want to make sure the top swatch here is set to white. So just drag in the top corner. Use the paintbrush tool. Set it to maybe 120, something like this. And just fill all of this dress. Don't go outside the dress. So do a little bit and then let go of your mouse button. So you can, you can save this in sort of steps. Um, so if you make a mistake, you can undo that mistake quite quickly. So I normally I do a little bit here, then let go of the mask button every so often. And we'll get closer to these edges in a moment. Just fill in the main bulk of it quite quickly, like this. And then, uh, you know, you can, you can spend a bit of time on this, but I'm just going to do a rough tidy up here on this selection. So really we want to fill in this whole dress white basically that's what we want to try and achieve um, so let's press the zoom let's zoom into here let's make our brush a little bit smaller and we'll feather it out a little bit it's probably too much feathered edge so let's let this one Okay, so let's um, zoom out a little bit. We just have to tidy up down here a little bit. So we'll zoom back in and we'll just fill this in here. And then we're pretty much done. You can spend a bit more time on this and get your layer mask perfect. But I think this should be okay as a demonstration of how this is done. So we'll fill this in here. Now we can um, press the letter Z, use the minus, zoom back out so we can see the image correctly, something like this. Then we'll hold down the Alt key and click back on the layer mask and then we'll click on the image and now we can move this handle to change the color of the dress, right? You can see the layer mask isn't quite perfect around these edges here. You can see like here it hasn't selected everything correctly. Um, so we can click back on the layer mask. Let's just see. So it's really down here, it needs to have a bit of a better selection, basically. So what we can do, 
Um, let's see. We might be able to paint directly on here. So we, what we can do is um, we can click on the layer mask here and we can use the letter Z to zoom in. Let's zoom into this part here. And we still got a paintbrush tool, but we can paint over the top here to improve that selection, right? Just like I got straight over the top. We need to make sure the layer mask is selected here. And you can go around the edges and refine it and get rid of like this this redness here right and it would take a bit of time to go around this whole image and you get the, you get the idea it's going to go around the edges of the image here and just improve the the selection just to tidy up i'll do this little bit let's just do it quickly anyway make sure you don't <clears throat> try not to draw on the image here we just want to really go around the edge here. So I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's going to take a bit of time to go around all of this. But you would zoom in quite close here and use a smaller brush to get into the more finer detail. Um, especially around here you can like tidy it up so it'll take a little bit of time to go around the whole image on the outside and clean up the layer mask but you get the idea of how you can just tidy this up quite quickly and get a better result but it takes a bit of effort unfortunately uh, like everything in life it takes a bit of time and effort and energy to get it quite right um, but we'll clean this up as much as we can quickly now. Cross here. It's just the red on the edges doesn't make you look very good, right? So we want to clean that up. And if you go over the edge, let's say you go quite a lot over the edge, you can switch to black and you can paint back. Um, so black is basically erasing the layer mask and white is adding to the layer mask so don't worry if you go over the edge you make a mistake you can just switch to black and then you can erase uh, what you don't want the layer mask to be right if you make any mistakes so don't worry about that too much um, but this red border around the whole thing is not great so let's try and clean it and make it better I think there's much left to do. So normally I'll spend more time on this. Um, I'm rushing it a bit. I don't want this to be a long tutorial. My advice is put the time in, depends on what you're using the image for. If it's for some, you know, client work, then you should put more time into this. But if it's just a little project that you're working on for yourself, then by all means, you know, it shouldn't make too much difference. And we can make the brush size a lot smaller here. Press the letter Z to zoom in. Let's undo that. Let's click outside and then press Z to zoom in here. And then we can just get rid of this here. Now as we just finish it all right. If you start something, finish it. May as well. Let's press Z to zoom out. Let's have a look. Um, I think that isn't too bad. I'll say up here it may need a little bit of work, but overall we haven't done too bad for the short amount of time we spent on it. See it's looking a little bit red here still, but I won't worry about that too much. Let's just zoom back out. 
and now when we click back on our image so we click back on the image uh, our colors will change a little bit better now right so we can change them quite easily uh, i think originally it was red so let's change it to like a blue color right something like this and then we could add a layer mask for the shoes here we could just add to our layer mask and draw over the shoe part here um, if we wanted to and change the color of the shoes as well but that's pretty much about it we managed to change the color quite quickly of this dress and you could do the same with the eyeshadow as well you could layer mask that change that color you can really play around with photoshop and do quite a lot of diverse things with it right so let's go to file save and we'll save this file as a photoshop file and let's go to file export as a jpeg so let's just save it as a jpeg file click export we don't want to overwrite that one so let's just call it uh, let's just, just name it 01 01 jpeg and we can close photoshop and we should be left with two pictures we've got the original image here that's the one we downloaded and uh, here's the one with the color dress change right so we managed to do that in under 10 minutes using photoshop you can do something similar to, like this using gimp but it will take a little bit longer in gimp to make the selection photoshop has much more powerful selection tools is what i'm finding but hopefully when the next version of gimp comes out the next major version then uh, we'll get some better selection tools but i'm pretty sure we can do something quite similar using um gimp and uh, the color select by color as well i know that exists in gimp as well so maybe i'll make a tutorial like this using gimp as well but for now that's how you go about changing the color of a dress using photoshop okay let's close this down i hope you find that tutorial useful remember it doesn't have to be a dress it could be anything really it could be trainers could be uh, anything it could be a mobile phone cover could be anything that you can think of where you've got a solid color or a solid sort of set of colors um, you can isolate them and use gimp or so use photoshop should i say to change those colors <clears throat> okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial